stop. Did you know that each year over 2 million break-ins are reported in the U.S.? And did you also know that a new one occurs every 13 seconds, usually in a home without a security device? Well, don't panic, because you don't have to be a part of that statistic. Thanks to Hudson Security. For over 20 years, Hudson Security Systems has been the most trusted name in home security. Our security systems make sure authorities are contacted the second an emergency occurs, ensuring the safety of you and your loved ones. And our reasonable prices are affordable for all families, large or small. Now let's see how that scene would have played out with a Hudson security system. Not the night, creep. Thanks, Hudson Security. Hudson Security, that our family protect you. Behind me is where the grisly crime has taken place. Officer Robert Quaid of the Metro Police Department was forced to gun down a 24-year-old male who, authorities say, entered the home and began to beat a young woman with a baseball bat. The victim was quickly airlifted Let's run through this one more time. Tell me everything you remember. I responded to a 211 in progress. I arrived at the residence at approximately 9.47 p.m. Upon approaching the home, I observed the front door had been forced open. I identified myself. I heard a commotion Coming from upstairs, a woman was calling for help. I heard a male voice shouting back at her. Drop it! Drop it now! When I entered the bedroom, I saw the assailant striking the victim repeatedly about the body and face with what I believe to be a baseball bat. I ordered him to stop, at which point he turned and advanced aggressively. I shouted for him to stop again. He swung at me. At that point, I discharged my weapon twice, striking him once in the shoulder and once in the chest. Is there anything else I need to know?
missed you. I missed you too, baby. Daddy had to do something tonight he's not happy about. on now? Here now with Hudson Security President James Hudson Jr. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. We've been hearing a lot about this case over the past few days and the prevailing sentiment among our viewers is that the failure of your company's system is what contributed okay. to the tragic events. I'm watching. Reporting on all I'll call you back. Long. Would you care to respond to that? Chris, what happened to Denise Sanders was very unfortunate. Uh, we here at Hudson Security are praying for a speedy recovery. But let me be clear when I say that we cannot be held responsible for the actions of a singular individual. Well, Mr. Hudson, now let's, let's be frank here. Had your system performed as intended, officers likely would have arrived at the scene a lot sooner, and they would have been able to stop the attack from progressing as long as it did. Chris. As you know, Hudson Security has been around for many, many years. We've protected a lot of homes. And I think what's getting lost here is that if the Sanders family did not have a Hudson Security system installed, the police wouldn't have been notified at all. I, I don't understand what all the negativity is about. Your, your father and the founder of Hudson Security, James Hudson Sr., was a guest on our show earlier in the week discussing this very topic and he expressed his sympathy for the Sanders family and he also said and I'm going to quote here he said that if he was still running the company he would do whatever it takes to prevent this sort of malfunction from happening in the future his words what steps I ask you sir are you taking to restore the public's confidence and faith in your company uh, my father does not speak for this company let me say again we cannot be held responsible. But Mr. Hudson, your customers have legitimate concerns here. They fear that they may be put in danger if their systems fail as the Sanders system did in this particular case. Do you feel that your company failed Denise Sanders? No. No, I don't. Look, this kid was a drug addict. A drug addict with a lot more issues than what we're discussing here tonight. That should be our conversation. But the Sanders are filing a lawsuit against your company. They say you should be held responsible. H hang on a second. You know, where were the police? The ones that are supposed to be protecting our streets from violent criminals, where were they? Look, everybody wants to accuse us. But this is not our fault. This is about money. These are people looking for money. The conversation we should be having today, Chris, is what are the police doing to prevent things like this from happening? Hudson security wouldn't even be necessary if the police were doing their job protecting my customers. Yeah, our customers are worried about protection. We have you protected. The people you need to be worried about are the police. And I think even you can agree with that. Come on. Well, I'd uh, be interested in hearing a law enforcement point of view uh, responding to your, to your comment there, sir. There are clearly a lot of elements in this case, a lot of factors, and unfortunately, that's all the time we have for now. Mr. Hudson, thank you for joining us. James Hudson, president of Hudson Security. Next up, we'll be talking to our legal analyst, John Coyne.
Mr. Sanders. Is she all right? What happened? Your wife is fine. I'm sorry to install you. I just wanted to let you know that Dr. Jefferson was on his way in. I want to make sure you're alert for it. Yeah, okay. Thank you. My shift is over. I'll see you anyway. I hope you're able to get some sleep tonight, Mr. Sanders. It's Troy. Dr. Forrest, dial 118, please. Dr. Forrest, please dial 118. Dr. Forrest, dial Cliff and I have got it all under control, okay? We're handling it. I was told otherwise. Have a nice flight back, Pop. Don't turn your back on me, boy. I hand you your future on a plate. I believe you owe me some respect. So you look at me when I'm talking to you. I led Hudson Security for 30 years and barely got a complaint. And within two weeks' time, you've managed to run my reputation into the ground. Your reputation? You didn't seem too concerned with your reputation when you were calling us out on television last week. I'm surprised you haven't sold your shares yet. You shouldn't be talking about this company in the first place. You lost that right when you walked out, remember that? I shouldn't have to explain myself to you in the first place. It's my name on the building. It's my name too! My name. So act like you've earned it, son. I have earned it. Come up with a strategy. I have a strategy. They got you pinned down. Huh? What are you gonna do? Look, this is, this is too much. 
I gotta get to work. Jimmy, listen. I want you to get this. Because I'm only gonna say it once. I entrusted you with this company. You damn well better believe I'll do whatever I have to do if you don't pull your head out of your ass. Think before you act, son. You better fix this. And you better fix it fast. We had over 250 employees when I ran this company. Do you know what that taught me? That in business, anybody can be replaced. Anybody. You understand? Oh, call your mother. She's worried about you. I said that he believed in me. He said I was going to make it. Now he's gone. I don't... I don't know if I can. And the other night I was up. I was craving really bad and... Uh, I picked up the phone to call him. And I guess... I guess I just forgot. <laughs> I don't understand why any of this happened. <laughs> Guys, what, um, what Caprice is feeling is completely natural. And with addiction, we, uh, we can fall back to our old vices to deal with difficult situations, okay? When we lose someone that we care about very deeply, it's, uh, it's easy to fall down. We go right back to our old bad habits, don't we? I think it's important here to remember what the person we lost would have wanted. Caprice, Mark wanted a better life for you. I think he would tell you to stay strong, regardless of the choices that, that he made. Mark's accomplishments here should be remembered. Let us pray. Lord, give us the strength to say no, the courage to walk away, and the trust to ask for help. And only through your strength can we get through the grief that we're all experiencing right now. In the name of our Savior, Lord Jesus, amen. Hey. Glad you could make it. I thought maybe you'd like to hear what the group had to say about Mark. He meant so much to us. I know they'd love to meet you if you could spare a few moments. I'd rather not. Okay. Okay. How's Thelma? Well, let her know that uh, Ashley and I and the kids are praying for her and you every day. Thank you. Look, if you're thinking about doing something you're going to regret, please don't. Call me first, okay, day or night. I know it's easy to lose sight. Do you? Was your son killed, Henry? That's not what I meant. 
I just know that things can get so much worse. I don't want you to lose any more than you already have, okay? You've come so far. I haven't had a drop of alcohol in 10 years. You know, my son is still gone. I've come so far. For what? To be rewarded? With this? A few days ago, I was cleaning out the garage. And I saw Junior's old bike. I got it for him when he turned eight. God, he loved that bike. His face lit up the first time he ever saw it. I still remember. One night I came home, late. Bike was sitting in the driveway. Must have told him a hundred times not to leave it there. I was so drunk and angry. Picked up his bike and flung it into the street. Junior was standing in the doorway waiting for me. Saw the whole thing. The next day I apologized. I told him I'd fix it. I never did. Not until three days ago. I think I finally realized I was late his whole life. I could have done something when I found out he was... Instead, I, I yelled at him and called him a punk. It wasn't even his fault. He lived half his life waiting for a father. You wonder why he turned out the way he did? My son didn't die in that girl's house. I killed him a long time ago. Mark, you have got to forgive yourself, okay? Look, First John. 1 verse 9 says, if we confess our sins, he is just and faithful to... Which is why Hudson Security will remain vigilant in honoring our pledge to provide dependable products that ensure the safety of our clients in keeping with the long-standing tradition of quality security solutions. Thank you. We can't keep pretending that the police are responsible for this. Is he insane? That's the reality of where this company is right now. None of this would have happened five years ago. Nepotism is never a good business decision. You don't think this is the first time something like this has ever happened, do you? Look, James's father was able to deal with situations like this because he listened to reason. On the other hand, James has ignored almost every piece of good advice we've given him. This company has cut so many corners under his leadership that I'm amazed we're still solvent. He's a great salesman, but he couldn't manage his way out of a paper bag. Look at the people he surrounds himself with. Take Cy Donnell, for instance. This kid, five years ago, was folding polos at Eddie Bauer. Now he's VP of quality control. And that guy from the commercial, another one of his frat brothers. Are you serious? 
Look, James Sr. had a better understanding of what it took to build this company. But James has the vision to sell the company to America. <laughs> you do realize that we are the target of every social media troll in America. Our commercials are so campy that they've become memes. My mom, my mom has started sending them to me. I think it's about time for me to update my resume. The word around the office is that a lot of people are already doing that. Some of the higher ups are saying this lawsuit is going to sink us. It's not looking good. John Powell offered to give us a discount on flowers from the shop. So whatever we need, just to let him know. Oh, I um, Professor Gillis said he kept all of Junior's old poetry he wrote in class. He wants to bind it all together in a book, give it to us. I thought that was nice. Me. I'm sick of fucking. How? You haven't said a word in two days. God, Mark, just give me a break. Finish talking to family. Or, or telling the reporters to get off of our lawn. If you want to talk, talk. Just don't ask me to. Or, or lying to countless neighbors that we're son. doing 
just fine. <laughs> and that God will get us through this. Which is obviously not the case. I am so sick of thinking and talking, Mark. We can't act like he never existed. That's what you think I'm trying to do? I can't believe you. You act like you're the only one who lost something. And I don't know how you walk around here like nothing happened. He was my only son, too! supposed to pick up the pieces alone when you're too selfish to open up selfish yes selfish <laughs> i understand that you're lost and you feel sad i am not lost or sad i am angry a girl, an innocent girl, is lying in a hospital bed in a coma that she may never wake up from because of our son. Think about her for a minute. He doesn't deserve flowers or a book of poetry in his honor. He broke into that girl's house and beat her nearly to death. Yes, <laughs> he did. But he is still our son. And he is probably rotting in hell. Thelma. Thelma! Mr. Selleck? Mr. Selleck, can I please have a moment of your time? Don't you people ever give up? Sir, is there anything you want to say to the Sanders family? Please leave my family alone. Mr. Selleck, police have said that drugs are the reason why your son did this. Do you have any comment on that at all? Get the fuck off my property. You understand me? And don't come back.
The kid had a baseball bat, not a gun. You know, and, and tell me they fired this time. Administrative leave. <sighs> James, listen to me. James, James. The family, they have an attorney. They're trying to prove that because our security device may have malfunctioned that her injuries would have been less severe. Oh, that's bullshit, Pete. And you know it. That can't be proven. James, what, what does it she, to me? What if she walks out of her house and he shoots in the street like she's a dog? Or she's a teacher, right? What if she walks into his classroom, shoots him in front of a room full of children? I don't think that argument's gonna hold up in court. Well, you're gonna keep us out of court, right? I can if you give me some options to work with. You need to consider settlement. With what money, Pete? Our sales have gone to shit ever since the media got a hold of this story. Settlement. No. And you know what? We're late. We gotta get in there. But I don't wanna hear another word about a settlement, Pete. Not one more word. Are we clear? We're clear. No settlement, Pete. More balls than brains. Dr. Forrest, dial 118. All right. Dr. Forrest, well, there doesn't appear to be much change. The swelling in her brain has decreased, but only slightly. Now there's something we can be optimistic about, but for right now there's not much more I can do. We have a scan coming back within an hour. I'll stop by and update you then. Thank you. You know, you should really consider going home for a little while. We have no idea how long it could be before we see any more change, and it might be good just to get out and clear your head a little bit. No, no, I can't do that. He's a killer, all right? <laughs> that did not come out right, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, shoot. You good? I will be once I get out of this place. Keep getting interrupted by people asking me if I need anything or trying to offer their version of therapy. Don't listen to them, all right? I mean, they're jealous. You get two weeks paid vacation. They're just trying to rattle your cage before you leave. Good to know. Yeah, all right? You just keep your head up. Keep moving on, man. You'll be fine. I'm trying, man. It's just tiring feeling like I've done something wrong when everybody's telling me I've done nothing wrong. Yeah, I don't think you did anything wrong. Well, according to the news, I shot an unarmed kid. Dude, he was holding a baseball bat that he just beat the shit out of a girl with. Yeah, well, some people call that not using restraint. Some people. Don't worry about those people. What the hell do they know? Come on. Shelly told me some kid in her class told her her daddy is a killer. Just kid in class. The kids are dumb. Well, not Shelly. Shelly's cool. But, uh, you know, I mean, like, it's all politics, all right? It's all going to blow over. You're going to be at home for a few weeks. You're going to come back. Nothing's going to happen. I mean, it'll go away. It's not the guy had it coming, all right? The kid freaking, he got what he deserved. I believe it. Did he? Jesus Christ, yes. If it was my daughter, I'd give you a medal, to be honest with you. But it's all, it's all media pushing it how they do in the media. When was the last time they got anything right? That's not what I'm saying. It's just, look, this was supposed to be a good kid, you know, from a good family. Not some hood rat with a record. People who cared, people who did things right. Maybe I should have talked to him. Found out what went wrong. I should have calmed him down, used restraint. 
I should have been a better cop. That kid's dead because of me. I can't celebrate that. sentimental stuff. I ain't even good at advice. But I know you can't humanize a perp. Right, you focus on the crime, you don't focus on the people. You did your job. You helped that girl out. You saved a life. Any of the other guys would have done the same thing. Thanks, man. Come on, man, let's get out of here. We'll pick up some beers. Let's go chill out. I need us not to put the ball out of the way that this is. That's what we need to do. That's not 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 what we need to do. We need to seriously consider a settlement. No. Will you please let me finish? If we decide to settle, no. then... No, no, no! Yeah. Why are we talking in circles here? Have I not been clear? You have been clear, but what you don't understand is that you cannot have it both ways. I don't want it both ways, Candace. I only want it one way, and it doesn't involve settling. <laughs> James, you have a PR... Don't say nightmare. Okay. James, you have a PR bad dream on your hands. Have you seen what they've been saying about I don't about? care what they're saying about us. You have to care about what they're saying Listen, about Robin, us. It's for very once, important. Be quiet and do the job you were hired to do. I will if you will let Listen, me. Listen, Charlie and I have done some research that you should look at. Sales progress reports from various companies three months after they settled out of court. They regain their numbers 45% faster than those that go to trial. Charlie? Sai, what do you think? Well, I agree with James. Of course you do. Look, I think that we should just ride this out. I mean, like you said, we can't do both. There's only one way to break a stick. Look, we're chasing our tails here. We need to figure out a way to end this quickly and quietly. We settle. What did I say? Can you just indulge me for a moment, please? Okay. This report can really shed some light on what our next step should be. Just hear us out. Charlie. Hold on a second, Charlie. Sai, the report you did, what, what did you come up with? According to the tech, the mishap wasn't typical. It doesn't appear to be any system flaws. Okay, that's good, that's good. Robin, write that down. I read that same report. There were anomalies cited by the technician. He should have had his supervisor do a follow-up test per protocol. He didn't. Sorry. did the family see this report? No, it was an internal report. But could they have? James, no. Listen, hear me out. What if we sent them a copy of the report and they threw it away in the junk mail or something like that? But we know that we sent that report. Is that possible? I, I stop, stop, I stop. Embarrass. I've heard enough. You're on thin ice here. What you're talking about is illegal. I've been with this company since day one, with your father and you. Jimmy, I'm done.
James, I am begging you. For listen, the love of God, shut up! You have no right to talk to her that way. Sit down, Candace. No. I will not sit by while you bully everyone into getting your way. Why are we even here if you refuse to listen to any of us? Most of us have been here longer than you, and we're still here because we believe in this company. Do you even care about keeping people safe in their homes anymore? If your father was still... Finish your sentence, Candace. If my father was here, what? Your father would have owned up to his mistakes. Look, what I mean my is- My father does not run this company. I do. James. You're fired. What? Get out. I'm fired? Get so out. someone finally has the guts to stand up to you and they get fired? Is that how it works here now? I am so sick. You deserve of you whatever and your happens know it all to you attitude. and this Get company. your shit you and get out of my building. Idea. Get the what? fuck out! And if anybody in this room agrees with that, you get your ass out too. I don't need a lecture, Cliff. Yes, you do. What I just witnessed was immoral and illegal and probably the most embarrassing thing I've experienced since I have been with this company. What in the hell is wrong with you, son? Oh, and I'm the problem here? No one here is listening to me. Oh, and you calling my father? I really do appreciate that. So I thanks a lot, Uncle Cliff. I your father because you're the one who's not listening to anyone. Not to me, not to Pete. You're out of control, son. Did you even realize that Pete and I are probably the only ones on your staff who are still on your side? Us and your idiot friend, Cy? You know exactly what a settlement can do to us. All this over a damn system glitch? How is that fair? No, no one's saying it's fair, but acting like a spoiled brat isn't going to fix your problem. I know for a fact you were raised better than that. I want my father to be proud of me. Is that too much to ask? Jimmy. Your father has been my best friend for most of my life. I have trusted that man with things. I haven't even told my family. I can tell you he's always been proud of you. But I'm not too sure how he feels if he saw what I saw here today. Your old man and I built this company from the ground up together. <laughs> we had a few dog fights along the way, believe me. But you know what the big difference was? We always maintain our integrity and our respect for our people, even if we didn't see eye to eye. He gave you this company with my approval and I would have never agreed to it if I didn't think you could handle the job. Don't make me regret that decision, son. Jimmy, blood's been spilled on your watch. Times like this when real men show their true character.
I never meant to call you selfish. Truth is, I know I'm being selfish too. This situation, we could have never been prepared for this. Even if we knew it was coming. You know what I can't get out of my head? Our son was a good kid. He just messed up. A lot of kids do. But he'll never get the chance to make things right. You know, any time Mark Jr. did something wrong. He was always quick to apologize. I didn't mean what I said about him earlier. Because I believe in my heart that he would have apologized to that girl if he had lived. I believe he would have made things right. That girl deserves an apology. We owe our son that much dignity. You have a visitor. Mr. Sanders? I'm James Hudson. I'm the president of Hudson Security. I know who you are. Look, I, I just came here because I'm, I was hoping that maybe we can just... How, how is she? How is she? She's in a coma, what do you think? I can see that. Look, coming here and apologizing, it's not gonna change anything. This was an unfortunate tragedy. You have about 30 seconds. All right, look, we're gonna cover all your expenses. I'm gonna personally take care of the hospital bills, and on Monday, maybe my lawyers can get with your lawyers and come up with a fair settlement. I don't understand, what are you trying to do? I'm not trying to do anything. Look, my company's gonna go on record and we're gonna say that our shortcomings were at fault here. It might not be the smartest business move, but it's the right one. Business? Your business is more important than my wife? There's far more at stake here than your business. Look, come on, we both have things at stake here, all right? Flowers. Wait, wife? I'll always be in touch. Have a good one.
Sanders. My name is Mark. This is my wife, Thelma. We're Mark Selleck Jr.'s parents. We wanted to come here today to tell you that our son was good. He was a good boy. We wanted you to know that he would have wanted to make things right. He was a good boy. Those are. in there when I got here. Who? Your father. Shit! Just wanted to bring you in here because of the marvelous work you've been doing. What's going on here? Well, don't just stand there. Close the door and have a seat. You're in my seat. Is that right? Candace, did I tell you about Jimmy's uh, football career? I don't think you did. Yeah? Man, my son could play some football. Really? Oh, yeah. He could read offenses like nobody's business. I bet he'd tell you he was defensive player of the year his senior year, either. As a matter of fact, his coach even told me that he said Jimmy was the smartest player he'd ever coached and the best team player as well. Didn't matter if he had 50 tackles or five, as long as the team wins. That's all that matters. Somewhere over the years, my son lost that. Maybe the money made him selfish and dumb. I don't know. It's time for a change, son. You weren't ready to take the reins. That's on me. Maybe the idea or the prospects of early retirement clouded my judgment. Who knows? Dad, Dad, don't listen. You can't do this. She. Look, I know I messed up. I know I messed up, but I, I need you to understand this. I, I can fix it. Just give me some time. I can fix this. Look, I, I'll make it right. Just, just, just don't do this. Don't. Don't do this. Jimmy, I love you. And yes, you are my son. But this is business. Miss Reed is your new co-president. And I'll be coming in at a limited capacity until this mess is cleared up. After which, I'll decide what role you play in my company's future. 
If I can offer you any advice, it's learn to be that team player again. More fast. Miss Reed, are you ready to see your new office? Yes, sir. Demi? Thank you, Uncle Cliff. I was gonna fire your ass. <laughs> 